Hi guys! I wanted to try on some magnetic lashes today. I've not tried them before. I'm a strip lash and eyelash adhesive girl and I've always worn them even before I lost my lashes. So today I wanted to try Ardell. So I bought these on sale I think last month. I didn't get to try them yet but I wanted to try them on camera for you guys. And I have cheated and watched some YouTube videos about how to wear these and um, I'm actually going to use some of the tips that I've heard on YouTube. So I will apply my eyeliner first and then I'll apply the, um, the magnetic gel on top of my eyeliner. Only because um, this is quite thick and apparently you can't really do much of a clean line. So I don't have lashes on this eye but I have some on this eye. So for those of you who have some lashes and for those of you who don't, um, I have one eye for each of you and I'll let you know how they wear. So the style that I have are Ardell Demi Wispies. So I have to be honest, I'm not a fan of Ardell lashes, but these are the only ones that I found, so I'll try them out. They might look nice, who knows? So I've pulled out the little gel eyeliner tub from the package because I wanted to show you how small it is. It is, two it is two grams. It's really, really tiny. My eyeliner is around five grams. So my, um, my gel eyeliner is five grams. So compared to that, it's tiny. I think they're doing that because um, it has a specific amount of uses in here. So I don't think you can buy the um, magnetic lashes, the Ardell lashes without this. So that probably makes sense why they have such a small amount of this product. So I'm actually going to use the angled eyeliner to put some on my hand um, to see whether the claims of smudge proof and waterproof are true. It's kind of mucky, um, it's sticky. That's probably because it has that magnetic um, material in there. I have a little bit on here and I will put a little bit on my arm. So it is quite thick. Yeah, it is really, really thick and that's not going on nicely. So that's probably why I'm going to put it on top of eyeliner um, because it is quite thick. It doesn't apply smooth. So yeah. Okay, I'm going to wait till this dries and then we will see if it's smudge proof and if it is waterproof. So I've waited a good minute for this to dry down. Um, it does dry a little bit shiny so it's not overly matte. Um, rubbing my finger... It is smudge proof. Yep, no, that's not going anywhere. I'll grab some water to see um, whether it is waterproof. Oh, it, it's kind of coming off. I don't think I let it dry down enough. So I'm gonna try it on my other arm and see whether, you know, it comes off or not. Okay, it needs two minutes to dry down. So yeah, that's not come off as you can see. One minute's not enough for it to dry down. I think it needs two minutes. All right, so I'm gonna put my eyeliner on and then I'll be back to apply the uh, magnetic liner. So I've applied my eyeliner. I've done a little bit of a baby flick, a really thin line or not overly thin anyway, enough so that I can apply the um, magnetic gel on top. So I will apply this with this little brush really close to my natural lashes. So this is the eye that I have a few lashes. Um, so I'll apply it really close to my lashes and yeah, we'll see how we go. That was really hard to apply with this brush. So I'm gonna pull out another brush that I have and see whether the second coat goes on a little bit easier. This is really, really thick. I've got a new angled brush and this is an old one from Ardell from their brow pomade. So it is a lot denser. So there are more bristles versus this one that's come in the pack, which is really, really fine and thin. So it's a lot more denser and I think I'll be able to pick up more product on my eye. So the first time that I used it, I felt like it was picking up some of my um, eyeliner underneath with this thin brush. So I'm hoping that with this thicker brush, I'll be able to pick up more product and deposit it on my eyelid because yeah, I just wasn't happy with this little brush. So I'm gonna try it with this one and um, let you know if it works a little bit better. Definitely better application with a more dense 
brush because it just picks up and deposits the product a little bit better on the eyelid versus this little brush that comes in the pack. Yeah, this is not great. It's going to go right in the bin. Okay, so time to take out these lashes. It's been two minutes on my eye and I think it should have dried down by now. Yep, give it a good touch. Should be okay. It's supposed to fully dry down before you apply these. This is a huge waste of plastic and I don't think I will store my lashes in this pack again. So yeah, massive waste of, oh God, um, massive waste of plastic. So the lashes are actually stuck to the pack with two globs of glue. Not the best packaging, so you gotta be really careful. Oh my gosh, the glue is actually stuck on the lash itself. So you've got to be careful not to pull the magnet and the lash. Gosh, that's, yeah, those, those two little gobs of glue. Great. So, okay, the lash has magnets all the way around. Um, there should be one, two, three, four. So wherever the clusters of lashes are, there's a magnet on top. Um, now, I don't know. It is still a bit sticky, but I'll give it a try. Anyway, so um, these are Demi Wispies. They're flutter lashes, so they fluff out towards the end. So these are probably the most natural lashes you'll find from Ardell. Um, yeah, they're not overly huge or massive, so I'm just trying to clean the glue out of the lash. Be really careful and delicate with these. I mean, it's a bit stupid that they're putting glue on, um, this bottom lash. So yeah, that's not coming out easily. Uh, what I might do is get a spoolie and run it through the lash, just like that. Hopefully some of that glue will brush out. Yeah, okay, that did a decent job. So if you ever have glue, um, just use a spoolie to kind of brush out your lashes. All right, so let's try the first one out. So this is my hard eye. So that's why I started with that one because the other one is much easier because it has no lashes. So I will be um, just trying to apply this. So I'll come a little bit closer. I've got my mirror just here. Um, yeah, let's, let's see how we go. I'm not using tweezers. It shouldn't require tweezers to place this, but if you do have eyelash tweezers, you could probably use them. Um, so you want to just apply them really close to your natural lash. So the reason why I don't like Ardell is because they just don't sit on my eye. Like they lay really, really flat. And this is what this is doing. Like it's giving me some nice lift here in the end, but in the front, it's just laying really, really flat on my eyes. So all the Ardell lashes do that on my eyelid, I think because it's so round. So it might suit some people, but me not so much. Yeah, I'm just gonna try the other eye and see if I like that one a little bit better. It might just be the, um, the lashes that I have already on this eye. I don't know, um, I'll be right back. All right, so I've applied the lashes to my right eye without any eyelashes. And the problems that I've encountered are where I don't have lashes, the lash falls down. So I've not been able to flick it up as much as I would have liked. So I'm gonna bring the, my phone a bit straight on so that you can see what I mean. But yeah, it's just not laying up like a lash does, but rather it's laying flat. So I'm gonna try and play around with them a little bit. Um, hopefully I can try and move them a bit. I'm trying to train them as well. Um, the first eye with the um, with my lashes underneath, my, my natural lashes, they've actually applied a little bit better. And I think straight off the bat, I, I think these might be better if you do have some bio lashes. My first impression is I'm not really loving these for um, the eye without any lashes. I don't know how long I'm gonna have lashes on one eye. One eye has none and I'm finding that they do lay flat. And that's a problem that I have with all of my Ardell lashes is they lay flat. And that has to do with the band and how thin the band is and so on and so forth and my eye shape. So um, I have very curved eyelids and my eye is actually quite curved as well. So I just don't think that it suits my eye shape, but I will wear them for a few hours and I'll come back 
Uh, and I'll give you my final thoughts and, you know, opinion about these lashes in a couple of hours. Okay. So it's not been an hour and I decided to play around with my lash and this happened. Fun times. So I tried to move it and all of the magnetic eyeliner came off with the lash and now it just won't stick back down. Um, there's not enough magnetic liner to grip to the um, magnets and it's just flopping around. So after one hour of wear and just kind of playing around with them a little bit, fail. So I don't like these lashes. I prefer my strip lashes personally. Again, it's probably just my eye shape because Ardell lashes don't work for me generally. So but yeah, it's been three months since I've worn lashes and this is literally a fail. So I'm gonna take these off because I don't like them. And yes, I will come back soon with another video on my normal lashes and talk to you guys about some of the lashes that I love and I enjoy wearing. If you like these, let me know what am I doing wrong or am I doing something wrong? I'll hold on to them and I might try them one more time, but that's it. Like, I don't think I'm gonna try them more than that. I find them a bit too fussy, um, a bit too messy. And um, yeah, I haven't even removed them yet and I've heard they're hard to remove. So anywho, that's my review. Thanks guys, bye.